Black is looking for ways to complete his development and get rid of his potentially weak pawn on d7, as well as take control of the d-file. At the same time he managed to look out for his opponent's ideas. White is struggling a bit. His pieces are not well placed and Black has managed to obtain the two bishops. However, if he can play nd3 and either nf4 or bb4, things would change quite quickly and the advantage Black has at the moment could quickly disappear. To counter this plan is Black's main objective in this position. I managed to do so by assaulting the center at the same time. d7 d6. I looked at the following lines during the game, but not with the detail, accuracy and confidence I can attach now after looking at the game with computer assistance. Black is looking for ways to complete his development and get rid of his potentially weak pawn on d7, as well as take control of the d file. At the same time he managed to look out for his opponent's ideas. White is struggling a bit. His pieces are not well placed and Black has managed to obtain the two bishops. However, if he can play nd3 and either nf4 or bb4, things would change quite quickly and the advantage Black has at the moment could quickly disappear. To counter this plan is Black's main objective in this position. I managed to do so by assaulting the center at the same time. D7 D6 I looked at the following lines during the game, but not with the detail, accuracy and confidence I can attach now after looking at the game with computer assistance. Queen D8 B6 Knight E1 D3 Rook C8 C2 Rook F1 C1 Rook F8 C8 Bishop d2 b4 f7 f6 Knight e1 d3 f6 captures e5 d4 captures e5 Rook c8 c4 f2 f3 Black is looking for ways to complete his development and get rid of his potentially weak pawn on d7 as well as take control of the d-file. At the same time he managed to look out for his opponent's ideas. White is struggling a bit. His pieces are not well placed and Black has managed to obtain the two bishops. However, if he can play nd3 and either nf4 or bb4, things would change quite quickly and the advantage Black has at the moment could quickly disappear. To counter this plan is Black's main objective in this position. I managed to do so by assaulting the center at the same time. d7 d6. I looked at the following lines during the game, but not with the detail, accuracy and confidence I can attach now after looking at the game with computer assistance. My main idea with the game move is that Knight e1 d3 d6 captures e5 Would force white to play Knight d3 takes on e5 d4 captures e5 Bishop d5 c4 Bishop d2 b4 This is of course the apparent problem with my move but I had something special planned here. A6 A5 was also very strong, but I like my move best. D6 captures E5. Bishop B4 captures E7. Queen d8 captures e7. d4 captures e5. Bishop d5 c4. Knight e1 d3. This is the second moment of prophylaxis in the game. I correctly evaluated the main defensive option, the one he went for in the game. But we both missed that he had another option that would have held his position together.
Queen e7 d7. Rook f1 d1. Rook f8 d8. Would transpose to the game. Rook f8 d8. The game was played with only one hour for the first 30 moves, which is the excuse for this inaccuracy. White misses a great tactical defense. He should have played. Rook f1 c1. When black only has traces of an advantage due to the exploitation of the back rank. The best try is probably. Bishop c4 takes on d3. Rook c1 captures c8. Rook d8 captures c8. Queen e3 captures d3. Queen e7 g5. Rook a1 e1. Rook c8 d8. Queen d3 c3. Queen g5 d2. Queen c3 c1. But it is not much. Rook f1 d1. Queen e7 d7. Rook d1 d2. This looks like the best chance, but I was ready for it. Queen d7 d4. I cannot force the win of a piece, but I can create a pawn weakness in the white position. Rook a1 d1. Queen d4 captures e3. f2 captures e3. Bishop c4 takes on d3. This is entirely unnecessary. The bishop outshines the knight in each and every way. Somehow I had the idea that the rook ending was just winning, which is more than a bit optimistic. Rook d2 captures d3. Rook d8 takes on d3. Rook d1 captures d3. g7 g5. White might still have some fighting chances in the endgame, especially if he manages to keep out the black king on the king side by putting a pawn on g4. However, this is not the only problem in the position. If black manages to play, a 5 end, rc5, it seems very unlikely that white will be able to hold. For the reasons in the last note the only move was Rook d3 a3 Rook d3 d6 After this the ending is lost a6 a5 Rook d6 a6 a5 a4 b2 b3 a4 takes on b3. A2 captures b3. Rook c8 c3. King g1 f2. h7 h5. King f2 f3. Rook c3 captures b3. h2 h3. Rook b3 c3. Rook a6 b6. Rook c3 c5. King f3 e4. h5 h4. King e4 d4. Rook c5 c2. Rook b6 captures b5. Rook c2 captures g2. Rook b5 b1. Rook g2 g3. Rook b1 h1. King g8 g7. King d4 e4. King g7 g6. Rook h1 h2. King g6 h5. Rook h2 f2. Rook g3 takes on h3. Rook f2 captures f7. Rook h3 g3. Rook f7 f6. h4 h3. Rook f6 f8. King h5 g4. 